Hi guys, I hope you're having a super duper great day. I am, thank you. Long time no see. I haven't been on here for a while. I'm usually on TikTok at the moment. I'm loving TikTok. I'm like creating a bunch of TikTok. So if you're interested in seeing more of me, you can follow me on my TikTok, it's down below. It's a fun time, I promise you. Today, as you can see in the title, I'm going to talk about how to know you're trans and how I knew that I was trans. I'm going to talk about my story, the kind of signs you can look out for. Yeah, that's what we're going to talk about today. But first off, I just want to tell you I'm no licensed therapist. I'm not a professional in any way, shape or form. I'm just speaking from my own experience and the things that I've seen around and I can't speak on the non-binary experience due to the fact that I'm a binary person. I transitioned from male to female so I'm binary and I can't speak on how the non-binary experience is. So yeah, I'm just going to talk about a bunch of things, what it means and how to know if you're transgender. But essentially, if you are questioning your gender identity, that might definitely be an indicator of something deeper. These questions or thoughts might definitely be a little bit hard or difficult for you to grasp and to just understand. So I definitely recommend for you to do your diligent research, just read up on what it means to be trans and non-binary and everything like that. Also just try to think of you if you could see a future like as the opposite sex or the gender that you, that you identify as that you want to transition to or to be. But before we get into this video, I just want to let you know that this video is actually in sponsorship with Catch Beauty. And I know, I know, I know, I talk about Catch Beauty all the time on this channel, but it's just because I really love them. And if you haven't heard about Catch Beauty before, I'm going to tell you, they mostly sell IPL machines like this one right here. And if you don't know what an IPL machine is for, it's for the removal of your facial hair or unwanted body hair at home permanently in the comfort of your own home. I've been using mine for two years now. I definitely love it. And also something else about Catch Beauty that I definitely adore. They sell other things as well, specifically targeted for trans women. So they have plenty of items on their website, not only IPL machines, but it's what they're known for. And also if you purchase this one that I have, you can actually change this module to like a skin rejuvenation kind of module and like an acne treatment and everything. I just definitely love it and I wouldn't recommend it otherwise. But if you're interested in getting one yourself or something else on their website, you can use my discount code Matilda or click the link in my bio or top comment. So Matilda, click the link and get yourself one of these or something else. But now, without further ado, let's get into the rest of this video. So the first thing I really wanna touch on is my childhood. I remember vividly just knowing that something was definitely wrong with me. I just, from the moment I was born, I just felt, I was pretty aware at a very early age on gender and what it meant to be like a girl or a boy. I remember always wanting Barbies, wanting dresses and so on. And I know that that has nothing to do with like gender or like biological sex or whatever. But that's just like, I saw the other girls and what they were doing and I really wanted that as well. I felt this intense jealousy from a very early age of the girls, how they dressed, how they could speak, how they could talk, how they could walk, like everything about girls. I just knew that like that's me but also like when I looked down on my body there was just like this mismatch. I yeah it's very hard to explain but when I started going to school at the age of like five, six, I was so jealous of all the other girls and I just always wanted to be with the girls, always, you know, mimicking them, doing what they were doing. And I was so confused and I always thought that like all the other girls and all the other boys also like kind of thought about this as well. Like all other people on planet Earth had these thoughts as well. So I never explicitly expressed them to anyone just because I was so 
I was just so sure that everyone around me had these thoughts as well and that's a very early sign that you're trans, that's just like this kind of rationalization of your thoughts and feelings. When I've talked to my therapist, she has always told me like, this is like kind of a coping mechanism that we use when it's difficult for us to understand our own feelings and expressions. We try to play it off like everyone around us has these issues as well when they in fact don't. That's a very early sign or an indicator that I was trans. Like as I as I was growing up, these feelings was just like intensified and they were definitely more difficult to ignore. I never told my mom like, mom, I want to be a girl because I didn't think that that was actually necessary to do so just because I thought that, you know, that was an impossible thing to do. So I was kind of like a logic Per I, I am a logic person still. I knew for a fact that I couldn't just like become a girl. Like what I was having, I couldn't change it. So yeah, I didn't really think deeper of that. I just, you know, I got the presents I wanted and I got the great gifts I wanted and there was nothing more than that. But as I said, when I grew up, the feelings intensified and like when I looked myself in the mirror, I I was just having these intense feelings of distress. I hated like the person that looked back at me and I didn't really understand why that was the case. I was just like, who the F are you? And why are you looking back at me? You're ugly. No, but honestly, <laughs> I kind of I kind of felt like that and now when I'm older I got a name of that feeling and that feeling is gender dysphoria My therapist has said that gender dysphoria is like the indicator of being trans Trans is just like an umbrella term for like many different gender identity variables. So yeah, but what I was saying, when I was 10, I remember seeing this commercial, Brecca, Baraka, yeah, I don't know, it's like a um, vitamin substance, I don't know. And in this commercial, I remember it so vividly because I decided this is crazy and it's definitely one of the bigger signs that there was definitely something wrong. But every time I saw this commercial, I looked at the man in the commercial and he had this like family and this like suburban life with a Volvo and you know the kids and the dog and everything you know early 2000s commercial you get them you understand what I'm saying and he looked so happy obviously because it was a commercial but I just looked at that commercial and I said look he's happy as an adult he's happy as a grown man so can I because I couldn't picture myself as an adult man. Every time I pictured myself as an adult, I saw a woman, but I knew for a fact that I was a guy, you know, I knew for a fact that I was a, I was going to grow up to become a man. So every time I saw this commercial, I just forced myself into thinking that I could have that life and that I could be as happy as the man in the commercial and every time that commercial kind of appeared I think it was like 10 to 12 I'm not really 100% sure on the age but that age frame 10 to 12 every time that commercial came on I was just like trying to use that commercial as like a goal and obviously that didn't work because that's just like stupid but I was a child and I was trying to coping because the gender dysphoria I had at that age was severe I was starting to having difficulties you know the way my body started to change was not the way that I wanted I remember my dad saying I put on this show like I was like a theater kid so we had this show on and in that play my character kind of screamed like a girl because I was like 13 at this time and I screamed like a girl you know very high pitched and my dad after that show kind of jokingly said soon you're not going to be able to make that sound anymore because you know he didn't know that I was trans he didn't say that to be mean he was just like for him when he was a guy he wanted to be a man so he was just like you know that's um an indicator of you becoming a man you know not being able to scream like that anymore but for me that was that was such a horrible thing to hear 
um, I didn't want my body to change in that way and I couldn't stop it. So yeah, my entire childhood is riddled with thoughts and feelings like this. But when I turned 15, I saw this documentary about trans people and I just realized that's me. I am trans. I could finally put words to the thoughts and emotions that I've had for my entire life and you know, and then I found a therapist. And that's one of the biggest tips that I could give you. Find yourself a professional. If you have these thoughts and feelings, I definitely recommend for you to actually find yourself a licensed therapist. So that's definitely one of the biggest tips that I can give you. Find yourself a licensed therapist specializes in gender identity. I'm no licensed therapist and I can't give you real advice. I mean, I could give you advice on my experience and, you know, from being um, a binary trans woman. However, I can't do more than that. So do your diligent research, go on Google, YouTube, whatever, and just try to get yourself as much information as possible. And then find yourself a licensed therapist in your local area. Also a big indicator of me, you know, being trans, it was kind of, I kind of briefly talked about this, but I couldn't see myself, I couldn't picture myself as an old person, you know, still being a man. So if you have these thoughts and feelings as well, I definitely, I definitely recommend for you to try to sit down and picture yourself as the gender you are now. And if you can't, and if you don't identify with that, I definitely recommend for you to, you know, get professional help. Not like in a mean way, like you should get professional help. No, but honestly, like that's a big indicator of something deeper if you can't picture yourself as an older person, as biological as you are. And also difficulties with how people address you. I remember when I was a child, even though I knew that I was a guy and, you know, I could say to myself, like, you're, you're a boy, but whenever someone else addressed me as such, I was just like having this cringe, cringy feeling. When my teacher split girls and boys, I always wanted to be with the girls and I had like a meltdown whenever I was put with the boys. And that's also a very big indicator of there being something more. And also, I would never encourage anyone to transition as long as it's not like the only way out. I'm not saying, I'm not trying to discourage you by saying that, but transitioning is hard. It's difficult and the only reason why I finally did it was just I I couldn't live on the way that I was living. I I know for a fact that I wouldn't sit here if I didn't transition. So. I wouldn't encourage anyone transition transitioning if you didn't have any other choice. So yeah, go talk to a gender therapist. And if you are trans and if you really want to transition, go ahead and do so. But please do remember that it will be difficult. Definitely not something I would encouraged to if you're not 110% sure that this is something that you truly want. But yeah, I think that was everything and please thank you so much for the people watching this and also thank you to Catch Beauty for sponsoring today's video and don't forget to check out Catch Beauty down below in my link in my bio, top comment, and use my discount code Matilda and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!